This is America, Mr. Sports Travel, on the road in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Before I tell you where I am, if you haven't done so already, please make that $50 donation to OperationFirstResponse.org. That's OperationFirstResponse.org. And in exchange, I will help you plan your next sports road trip. Perhaps some, some college hoops on your plate, some pro hoops, some baseball, some football, some hockey. Or we can just get together and tailgate for a football game. Tell you all my fun stories from the road, over video, over email, over phone, or in person for $50. I want your $50 in exchange. I will spend a day with you. Now, where is Mr. Sports Travel in the Bluegrass State? Clearly, I've got a prop here, and that is a basketball. Because when you think of Kentucky sports, you think of number one, basketball. And I'd say number two, horse racing. Uh, but Mr. Sports Travel is a team sports guy, and he loves animals, but he's more into the team sports with the humans. So hence, the theme of this video, basketball. Now in each of these videos, we're celebrating each of the 50 states, plus the District of Columbia. And I'm gonna tell you where I am momentarily, but when you really think of Kentucky, it is all about the hoops. I've decided to go with a neutral color here because when you think about the Super Bowl of Kentucky, it's the blue of the University of Kentucky against the red. University of Louisville and there's no professional teams in Kentucky except for minor league baseball so really the Super Bowl of Kentucky is the college basketball between Kentucky and Louisville blue versus red Mr. Sports Travel donning the Johnny Cash be all you can be in the army and on the road for Operation First Response.org so on with it where are you Mr. Sports Travel I I'm at one of the oldest and most historic gyms in the Commonwealth. I'm on the campus of Georgetown College, which is about 30 minutes north of Lexington, and about an hour south of the Queen City, Cincinnati, Ohio. And I chose this location because I'm not going to Lexington on this trip, even though it's not far from here, and it's kind of hard to find parking near Rupp Arena uh, and Memorial Coliseum. And then this gym is actually more older and quite historic. And I'm looking forward to checking it out momentarily. I'm seeing a men's volleyball match. So Davis Alumni Gym on the campus of Georgetown College. Not a Division I program, but a NCAA program or a college sports program, I should say, nonetheless. In each of these videos, I talk about my first memory in the state, my most recent memory, and my favorite memory. And we're going to do that right now. First memory, 2000. First road trip to Kentucky, first sporting event, Louisville, I think they were called the Redbirds at the time, I think they were an affiliate, or maybe Louisville Reds. But minor League Baseball, downtown Louisville, it was all good. Not been to that minor league ballpark in Louisville, highly recommended. And make sure you go by the Louisville Slugger Museum, great, great museum where the baseball bats are made. So that was my first visit to the great state of Kentucky for sports. And actually, I think that was my first visit overall. Most recent visit to the great state of Kentucky prior to today would have been last uh, fall. I saw a football game at uh, a college in Grayson, Kentucky. I believe it's Kentucky Christian. It is Kentucky Christian, right off of I-64. It was a beautiful sunny day like today, although today is uh, early winter as I do this video. But it was a fall day at Kentucky Christian in Grayson. I saw a football game there, I want to say mid-October time frame, maybe late October. It was all good. Mr. Sports Travel has been to all the Division I hoops programs in the state of Kentucky, as well as the football. You've got U of L, Kentucky, then you've got Eastern, Western Kentucky. The newbies, Bellarmine, doesn't play football, but they're in hoops. You've got Northern Kentucky. You've got a plethora of Murray State. You've got a plethora of D1s here in the Commonwealth. This is a great basketball state. To that end, I've seen high school hoops in this state and a lot of minor league baseball. No hockey to be found in Kentucky. Sorry, no hockey. And do when you when you do think of Kentucky, you think of amateur sports. And really, the closest pro affiliations, I guess, would be Cincinnati. If you live in northern Kentucky, maybe you're a fan of the rank, uh, the Reds, or a fan of the Bengals, right? But this is this is amateur college high school athletics. One of the reasons I chose this venue. So, favorite a venue ever in the great state of Kentucky. This is a tough one because I've been to Keeneland, I've been to the Kentucky Derby. I've been to all the Division I's on the baseball, basketball, football side, but this is a hoop state, baby. And I gotta go with the game in 2019, the LSU Tigers came into Rupp Arena, and they stunned Coach Cal and the Cats. 
And that was a great game. It was early February, I want to say 2019. Could be wrong with my dates there, getting a little old here. But it was a great game at Rupp Arena. I've been to Rupp three times. And by the way, the original Rupp, now called Memorial Coliseum, in Lexington is still there. The women play there. And that's a great venue. So if you ever get a chance to go to Lexington, go to Rupp, try to time it when you catch a women's game. Because that's what the men used to play at Memorial Coliseum. Great, great venue. So my favorite memory in the great state of Kentucky for sports, that's what these videos are about. My first memory of sports, my first event in sports, of course, sporting event here. Most recent memory and favorite memory. And it's definitely the LSU Kentucky game I saw in 2000. I want to say 19. It was uh, after the new year and it might have been 2018, but I think it was 2019. And LSU, the Tigers came in, they stunned the Cats. I think it was a Tuesday night, great game, 22,000 crazy fans. And, you know, UL is a great venue as well. If you ever get a chance to go to uh, the Yum Center. Now, Freedom Hall, which is where UofL used to play, is now used by Bellarmine. How about that? Now, I frankly think Bellarmine should play on campus at Knight's Gym, because it's a cracker box. And I would be surprised if they go back. And Freedom Hall is too big for them. But if you do want to see the old Louisville venue, Freedom Hall is still there, baby. So this has been the Kentucky video. Hope you learned something new. Please follow me on social media, at mrsportstravel.com, at mrsportstravel.com. And please, if you've not done so already, there's the American flag mobile. Please donate $50 to Operation, at least 50. You want to do more than 50? It's all good, baby. You can't do 50? Increments of five is good. Five being my favorite number, my best number in Little League. The only year I was an all-star. The only year I hit for anything. Uh, again, this money goes directly to Operation First Response. I approached them. My late father was in the Air Force. I wrapped this car. I'm 100% self-funding my trip. It cost me two grand to wrap it, but doesn't it look nice? It sure does. So we'd love to get your donation. Uh, OperationFirstResponse.org, four-star rating from Charity Navigator. Please look for my other videos. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please feel free to communicate with me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at MRSportsTravel.com. Until next video, celebrating each of the 50 states, Mr. Sports Travel, living the dream, baby, in the great state of Kentucky. Got to go in and watch some men's volleyball in an old-school hoops gym right here on the campus at Georgetown College. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.